Once again, my province has gone under lockdown. This is our third one since March 2020 and sometimes the frustration does get to me. In this video, I'm going to take you guys with me for the week and talk about some tips to help keep me motivated to live a healthy lifestyle during the pandemic. Hello everyone! Usually I don't take Mondays as a rest day but I wanted to because I felt like I've been working a lot on one of my recent videos which was the Linda Sun 6am morning routine. I'm putting a lot of time into it, like at least a couple hours each day. So I wanted to take a break for an entire day. For me personally, it's really, really easy to get into burnout. If I don't chill or like take care of myself, I get into this mode where I just don't feel motivated to do anything. I think having a solid break throughout the week is one of the most important things that we can do. Today I was going to go on a walk and I was also planning on taking some pictures for some Instagram, you know, just to get ready and have fun. But it is also raining the entire week. I think that has to be pushed back for next week. But today I'm really I'm super chill. Like I already did a workout yesterday because I knew I wanted to start filming a little bit today and just have no obligations or expectations to move. I'm still going to do like a light yoga and then I'm also doing my split stretch. But other than that, what I'm planning to do right now is just to sip on some coffee, make a, a lock screen vision board on my Pinterest thing. That will take some time, a couple hours as well, but I do find it relaxing. I find it really therapeutic, but I do think I should take some time to continue journaling and meditating. So I'm just gonna take you through this very chill Monday. For anyone who's asking how I created this, I used an app called Pocket on my iPhone and then I went on Pinterest and copied a lot of photos that I liked and kind of fit together and then I basically just copied and pasted them together to make it look like a collage. It took me so long to create my lock screen. I started at 12, just finished around like 3.30 or 4. So my mom asked me to make some mac and cheese because she was craving it. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a grocery list for my parents because we are still in lockdown once again. We're only allowed to go outside for essential goods or exercise and stuff like that. So a lot of the stores will be closed off that aren't essential, but it's so extreme that my parents don't even want me to go with them to go grocery shopping. So I have to make a list for them. I'm gonna go ahead and look up some recipes for mac and cheese and i know it's not the healthiest meal but i think it's also really important to touch upon i always preach this i think the 80 20 rule is it's not even a rule to me i feel like it's a lifestyle make sure that you're enjoying the foods that you're having in order for it to be sustainable to continue eating healthy healthy lifestyle is never really perfect and even the motivation levels, we can't depend on that because it's always fluctuating. It is important to just enjoy what you're having, just enjoy the present. Food is a privilege and weight loss is a privilege. So it's just important to keep grounded and make sure that you're taking care of yourself, staying true, I don't know. So we're probably gonna have mac and cheese for dinner, which is weird because I don't really, like I, like I don't care for it too much, but I guess my mom's just randomly craving it. So I'm gonna go ahead and look up some recipes for that. Je t'ai je t'ai je t'ai les Remonter les dans deux mille Les mains se serrent, les mains se serrent, les mains se serreront Sous un soleil de papier doux the end of the night it's almost 11 i'm gonna wash up real quick i'm gonna do my nightly stretches and my gratitude journal and then some meditation 
Another tip I have is to pay attention and give some respect to your nighttime routine and your non-physical activities. Having a solid nighttime routine is like signing off for the day. It makes me feel productive, it makes me feel clean, which is really important. I feel like if I go to bed and feel kind of dirty or just like odd, it kind of messes up with my sleep and my energy levels the next day. I usually don't stretch before bed even though I really should, especially looking back at this footage. I remember there were a lot of nicks and knacks around my neck and my lower back. So it's really important just to do small things that really make you feel better throughout the night and that will help you feel better the next morning. Although the whole COVID slash quarantine fatigue thing is getting to me, I try my best to pretend that today is a new day filled with new activities and try and be excited for the different things I have set up for today. My daily walks personally for me are such a great way to de-stress since it is physical activity it does help keep me more motivated help a lot with just like moving and getting yourself and get yourself hyped up for continuing the healthy habits and also to go into the coffee thing i try not to have it every day even though i do i kind of like to think of it as a treat for myself like a reward for waking up so early granted today i did sleep in <laughs> i still gave myself a morning coffee because i went out for the walk even though i didn't really feel like it and it's those small things that really make a difference when you do something and then you reward yourself you're probably going to continue doing that just start with any physical activity that can be stretching that can be walking around the block not even like a full 30 minutes as long as you're moving that's really really important soon you'll feel a difference and then after that you'll want more over here in my province it is back on the third lockdown and i know for myself personally getting active really helps with my mental health and it gives me something to do and makes time pass by so that's why i like to do it and obviously because it keeps me healthy so yeah going back to this whole entire thing in order to motivate yourself and stay consistent with the motivation is to reward yourself for doing the small things if we reward ourselves and we pay attention to the positive emotions and how we feel that will help us stay motivated and avoid a burnout so that is my tip of the morning yeah a lot of talking i'm probably going to eat a little snack do my booty workout make breakfast and then move forward from there after finishing my morning coffee i go straight to my workout so i can just get it done for the day today was glute day which is my favorite and i decided to go with lily sabri for this day Bye. Bye. I'm not gonna lie, the reason why I did this type of video was mostly for myself. This week specifically, I have been so unmotivated to do anything and I kind of forced myself to make a video about it so I would actually do it and it actually worked. But for the people who don't have a YouTube channel or who don't videotape themselves to stay accountable, I would recommend doing a physical activity that you really like. What also helps with consistency and accountability for yourself is to create a realistic fitness goal. 
It's really easy for us to get carried away with our expectations from our bodies versus what's realistic for our bodies. So I would recommend looking at a timeline between three to five months at least for the fitness goal. For example, for this month, I want to do a 15 minute stretch every day so I can achieve my middle splits. Looking at the footage now, I know I'm nowhere close to achieving it in 30 days. So giving myself that extra time and being patient with my body is really, really important. I just finished working out and doing the split stretch. So I'm basically done my physical activity for the day. I love booty day, not just because of the gains, but also because of the exercises and the burn. Using the type of exercise makes a huge difference as well. There's more than just weight lifting or body weight. There is yoga, there is dance, and you just have to find the one that works best for you. There's also the types of YouTubers you're watching. I've been doing home workouts for a year. For the first bit, I was doing Chloe Tang, doing a lot of the popular stuff. You know, I thought that was easy. That would give me a lot of results. Obviously, as time goes by, you'll notice that sometimes certain YouTubers or certain workouts or programs just don't fit your type of expectations or your type of goals and it's not really your cup of tea. So I think it's also important to be mindful of what types of workouts you're doing and if you're seeing the results you expected. Granted, a lot of it does depend on what you eat and how hard you push yourself. Whenever I do other YouTubers, I do see a big difference and I notice that I see progression. For example, I just measured my bum before the workout and it's 38.5 inches. The first when I was doing like the Chloe Ting 30 day program, my bum would grow like half an inch and I'd have to like really, really try hard and really, really pay attention to what I'm eating. First for Lily Sabri, I'm obviously working hard for the workouts, but I'm being a lot more lenient when it comes to my nutrition and post-workout meals. Important to be aware of how your body reacts to certain workouts. Obviously how you feel about it is more important. In order to stay motivated and stay consistent, you have to enjoy the workouts. And also something that really helps, planning out a schedule, a workout schedule. I like to work out at most five times a week, Monday to Friday. I only do 30 minute workouts. So usually on Monday, it would always be booty. Tuesday would be arms and cardio. Wednesday would be abs and cardio. Thursday would be booty. And then Friday would be cardio and abs or arms. Just do workouts that you enjoy and that will definitely help with the motivation levels. I wanna know your name Baby, you're bubbly and radiant You got some flavor and I'm trying to savor it Palm grip on the This is basically deep fried dough But it is so good Yeah, <laughs> daddy Finna get loose Ooh. Pardon me if I flake on occasion They like doing I'm more like Michael Serpa Never was it tough to feel like singing Never was it tough to go and take it Gentlemen, the way my mama raised me she prayed for me since I was a baby Now my life is over there by angels Now my life's obtaining on the paper Yeah Oh, like you were Take a spin on the back row With your hands flying out the window With your hand nothing but mileage I'll pick you up I got you, I got you, I got you I'll pick you up I got you, I got you, I got you Stay pop, full size, summertime 14, special cool like I mentioned before, I think it's really important to keep up with the non-physical activities that you have. So something I like to do is journal and meditate so I can focus on my goals and the things I want to manifest. While I was doing a meditation, I came to a realization that I wanted a sponsorship from Gymshark. Now, I've always wanted this for years and years, ever since I was an undergrad and back when I was a gym rat. Obviously, there's a lot of benefits getting a sponsorship from Gymshark, but for me, it's really, really personal. Back in undergrad, I was a huge, huge fan of a lot of the Gymshark athletes like Whitney, Nikki, Robin, Sammy. There's a lot of them. Um, and they were actually the main reasons why I wanted to create a YouTube channel is because I wanted to show everyone my own fitness journey and to be sponsored by them would be a, literally a dream come true. So one of the things I want to manifest is a sponsorship from them 
and through that I always try to remember why I'm working out and why I'm creating this YouTube channel. Yesterday's breakfast was full of fried foods and very little veggies. I think I had like one serving of veggies throughout that entire day. I decided to balance out yesterday with a really healthy day today. So obviously I started the workout, finished that early, and I also made a really healthy breakfast which was three eggs, uh, a little bit of bell pepper, and an avocado. So a lot of good stuff and no fried foods at all which is really nice. <laughs> I just want to make a point that one quote-unquote bad day will ruin your entire journey. I used to think that all the time and it got me in like a really bad place with my relationship with food and it's not helpful at all. There's literally no benefits to it. So instead of beating myself up over it, I just start the new day with healthy foods and make conscious efforts to be healthier and then reward myself for that. These are some of my tips to stay motivated during the pandemic. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in the next one.